Assalamu alaikum, myself Zainab Zuhail. First, I start with the name of Allah, the most beneficial and merciful. Today, I share with you some information about eating disorder. What is eating disorder and how it affects our health? Eating disorder is not a choice. It's a mental illness which affects our day-to-day -day life. People really think about weight, food, etc. As you know, we all need food to survive. In fact, eating disorder is one of the most dangerous psychological issues. As you can see in this picture. Type of eating disorder includes anorexia nervosa, bulimia nervosa, binge eating disorder. Anorexia nervosa happens when one is obsessed with becoming thin. That they reach extreme measures and this leads to an extreme weight loss. Anorexia nervosa warning signs include traumatic weight loss, refusal to eat certain food or food categories, consistent excuses to avoid situation involving food, excessive and rigid exercise routine, withdrawal from usual friend or relatives. There are certain health risks due to anorexia nervosa includes heart failure, kidney failure, low protein stores, digestive problems. The treatment of anorexia nervosa is medication, psychological therapy, family therapy, nutrition, counseling. Bulimia nervosa is an eating disorder in which one starts to consume large amount of food at once and then is followed by purging using luxative or over-exercising to rid themselves of the food they ate. Bulimia nervosa warning signs include rapper indicating consuming of large amount of food, frequent trip to bath after meals, signs of vomiting, for example, staying of teeth, clauses on hand, excessive and rigid exercise routine, withdrawal from a usual friends or relatives. Health risks due to bulimia nervosa include dental problems, stomach rupture, menstruation irregularities, the treatment of bulimia nervosa is not one fit all approaches. A bulimia treatment plan is tailored to individual need. Various treatment approaches that can be used separately or in combination include psychotherapy, medication, nutrition, education, and hospitalization. And the last type of eating disorder is binge eating disorder in which someone eat a lot amount of food at a time but they don't vomit. Binge disorder warning signs includes may be overweight for age and height, may have a long history for replaced effort to diet, feels desperate about their difficulty to control food intake, may eat throughout the day with no planned meal times. The risk due to binge eating disorder includes high blood pressure, high cholesterol, gallbladder disease, diabetes, heart disease, certain type of cancer. The treatment of binge eating disorder is behavioral therapy, interpersonal psychotherapy, weight loss therapy, and medication. Next is why do people develop eating disorder? Behaviors are unhealthy coping mechanism factor to consider is psychological, interpersonal, social, or cultural, and biological factor. First, the psychological factors are low self-esteem, feeling of inadequacy or failure, feeling out of control, response to change, response to stress, personal illness. The interpersonal factor include trouble family and personal relationship, difficulty expressing emotion and feeling, history of being teased and ridiculed based on size or weight, history of physical and sexual abuse. Social and culture factors. Culture pressures that glorify thinness and place values on obtaining the perfect body. Narrow definitions of beauty that includes only women and men of specific body weights and shape. Culture norms that value people on the base of physical appearance and not inner qualities and strengths. Biological factors of eating disorder often run in families. Genetic component research about brain and eating in taking place, chemical in the brain control, hunger, appetite and digestion have been found unbalanced. 